Hi, my creative friends. It's so good to be back. I took a bit of time off and I thought I should explain why and what I've been doing since before Easter when uh, that was the last time that I actually posted a video. First, you might want to get something to drink and we'll have a little chat before we do any collage work. Um, for, before Easter, we decided we were going to go home to Maryland for the holiday, and we did. We had a great visit, um, but on the way home, I started feeling ill, and by the time we got home, I realized that I either had food poisoning or I had an intestinal bug. It turned out to be an intestinal bug, and my husband also got it. You know, he's usually able to kick things in a day or two, and even he wasn't able to um, get through this, whatever it was, in a day or two. It took us both about a week before our tummy started feeling better, and it took about two weeks um, for whatever it was to run its course and during that time I felt as if I purged everything that um, I had been holding inside myself for a long long time which is a good thing um, and again when the uh, the bug or whatever it was um, passed I still felt exhausted totally totally exhausted but it was okay. I listened to my body and I was able to write and come up with some ideas. I thought a lot, I meditated a lot, I wrote a lot, I did a lot of neurographic drawing. And although I missed you all, I knew I wasn't ready to uh, get back and do my regular videos. I felt a change coming on and when you feel those changes in energy or motivation or whatever it is, it for me it usually means I'm, I'm out of the flow. I'm out of my creative flow and it takes a while for me to get back into it. Um, so, I, I took the time that I needed. Now, I wasn't just not doing anything. I did a lot, actually. Um, I created a new website. Um, it's called Collage Magic, and I'll put the link down below. It's www.collagemagic.com, and I hope you'll join me there. Um, it's it's growing the site is growing i'm adding new things all the time but if you join the site um, and uh, accept newsletters or mailings or emails um, you have access to a free resource library where right now i have a number of collage sheets that you can download and i'm adding things weekly to that so the more often you visit, the more likely you are to find something new in the resource library. Uh, right now I also have my uh, galleries of my collages up so you can look at those. And also there's something exciting happening in September. And I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm building it as we speak. And I was going to try and open the portal to uh, this exciting new adventure in, in June, but I had to postpone it because I wanted it to be just, just exactly as I envisioned it, and I wasn't quite there. So right now there's, um, there's uh, early bird pricing on, the, um, on this adventure and uh, that will last until September. It is a year-long adventure, and, uh, and I hope you'll join me. It's gonna be a lot of fun and, and 
quite soulful and quite mindful and uh, it's going to be um, quite eye-opening too I think so uh, please visit my website take a look and see if it's something that you're interested in there are a lot of parts to it every month uh, you don't have to follow along month by month by month. You can, you know, if you need to skip a month or if you're not in the flow, uh, all of the pieces will still be available to you throughout the year. So that's one thing. Now this is going to be backwards because of the way I have my camera, but um, this is my logo for Collage Magic. And I'm really excited about the way that turned out and um, it's collage magic Linda Carroll art is underneath but I really really hope that um, you'll come along with me uh, and join the website and we'll see where we go we'll see where we travel um, I've also been doing a lot of, um, of fussy cutting a lot of fussy cutting and I'm really excited about the images that I've been finding in my fussy cutting adventure. Um, I have a whole bank of drawers that I'm going to be filling up with all this fussy cut goodness. And um, if you're going to join me on further adventures, I'd suggest that you start looking through magazines, um, old books, uh, advertising advertisements whatever brochures whatever you have and start looking for images that appeal to you um, we'll be doing more found object found image collages and also I'd like you to start building up your own resource library of collage of collage materials that you can use and collage materials can be just color paper um, we're going to be working on making our own collage papers as well, and um, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. This new this new adventure, you know. Since the beginning of the year, I've been doing an art journal called Cracking Open, and I really felt as though I was cracking open my psyche and going down into my soul and kind of finding images and. Um, feelings that I maybe had lost track of or maybe they were reacting to things to, in the outside world um, and I think what I ended up doing is not only cracking open my psyche but cracking open my heart um, I've been feeling a shift in the energies and today actually is the new moon um, and it's pretty powerful it's in Gemini and I have a Gemini moon and I've been feeling this this energy magical magical energy um, and I knew today was the day to make this video uh, and I hope that there's a big it's having an impact on me and I hope that I can share that with you and it's going to be a lasting impact on my artwork and also on my being um, I I feel as though I have narrowed down exactly what my true heart's desire is and it's following that heart's desire um, that I tend to get swayed from. Um, and collage is, doing collage work has been a passion of mine since 2005. And sometimes I got off track, um, not too far, but I did get off track. And my, my desire is to be able to express my feelings and my emotions in my collages and um, you know there are a lot of ways to do collage 
But for me, a collage that tells a story, that expresses who I am, who that expresses my feelings, um, are the most impactful collages. Not only to me, but I think to the viewer, because there are a lot of things in these collages that you can relate to because it's you know it's a universal um i have universal concepts in my collages although they come from deep within me and also uh, i want to talk more about magic magic has been surrounding me my entire life ever since i was a little girl but i didn't no, it was magic. I just thought everybody experienced the world the way I did. And I was really surprised to find out that, that a lot of people don't. Uh, so I want to be able to share with you more of the magic in life. Now, I heard a quote the other day that was by Martha Beck. And she is um, a very interesting woman. She's new on my bookshelf. And she said, and she's a scientist, and she said that, you know, she, I, she doesn't believe in magic, she, but she does acknowledge that there is magic. But she says that um, magic exists because science hasn't caught up with it yet which I heard that and I absolutely loved it. So we're gonna be doing more magic and talking about more magic. And that is one reason why the website is named Collage Magic. Um, so, I think that I'm really glad to be back and um, and be able to share with you again. I feel as though I'm back in the flow. Um, I've been doing a lot of neurographic drawings and this is the latest one that I did. Um, and this one is actually um, a map of, it's like a soul map. Uh, and it's a map of the journey that I'm on currently. Uh, so you'll see more of these um, as we go along. I have them posted in my studio and I also have them in my in a portfolio book. But um, I'll put a link down below to the classes that I've been taking. And it's I can feel um, a real shift in the way that I am approaching things. I've always tried to approach uh, my artwork with intention and be conscious about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, I also use my intuition to guide me along the way. And I feel that I'm gaining a balance between um, intuition, intention, um, the right side of my brain, the left side of my brain, the outer world, and my inner world, which I spend a lot of time uh, there in my dreams and also my imagination. And all of these things I, I want to be able to talk more about. Um, and I hope that, I really hope that I really hope that being my authentic self, which I am embracing more and more and expressing more fully that it will show in my artwork and um, and be inviting to you to share in what I'm doing and the journey that I'm on. 
So there's a lot that's going to be new. Collage magic is the big one. Um, I've been working really, really hard. I had no idea in this super tech, all the connections that are happening in the technological world. It is like magic to me, but I've been on a really steep learning curve um, figuring out how to connect the website to, um, to you know, other, other tools that I need to get the website up and running. Uh, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And, um, and I'm, I'm seeing the connections, you know, in the tech world, in the ethers um, that I see in nature, but I'm also seeing them elsewhere. And um, it's, 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 it is an amazing journey. So I hope you'll, you'll continue watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Linda Carroll Art, um, I hope that you do, and I hope that you ring that little bell over there and you'll get notifications when I post a new uh, video. And, um, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about what I've been talking about, I'd love to read your comments below. Um, so let's just play today. Um, I really feel like digging into these images that I've been collecting and I just want to see where my imagination takes me today. And uh, so let's, let's just play and, and do a collage. I'm going to move the camera overhead so you can follow along. Okay, here is the logo, <laughs> right side up. And um, uh, one thing I really like about it is the blend of the vintage and the more modern uh, styles of artwork and the interplay of the bold type and magic and the more casual uh, handwritten collage. So, I'm hoping um, that you'll go and take a peek at the at the website um, and uh, let me know what you think, okay? I have just been cutting and trimming and having a great time with my stash of magazines and I have I've been cutting out letters and people and all kinds of stuff so let me see what I can find here that really appeals to me that's going to be available in my um, collage magic uh, resource library will be collage sheets made from my collages so this is the first page that's available in um, in the resource library and all you have to do it's free all you have to do is join the site and um, and then you'll have access, you'll make up your own account with your own password and you'll have access to all of the collage sheets that are in the resource library. So, I might use this one. This is just printed on um, regular copy paper and the colors are really nice um, on this sheet.
think you can see um, by the different things that I was searching through in my little plastic bin here for my collage, uh, the type of things that I cut out. And I don't cut out everything. I cut out things that are meaningful to me. And I cut out things that um, intuitively feel right, the colors. Uh, I have a certain palette that I work with that is coming, becoming more and more true and uh, images that I like to work with. So I'm gonna start um, gluing some of these down and then we'll go from there and we can talk about, talk about this collage a little bit more. Okay, and it was as I was working on this collage that the meanings started coming forth. And to me, that is what is absolutely the magic of collage in that I went through a plastic box of images and I pulled the images that called to me and I took the time to consider the color the colors that I was working with obviously I was drawn to the purple blue pink red uh, colors here I also have um, some religious figures here. I, Mary often appears in my um, in my uh, collages, and uh, she's everywhere in my studio. Um, uh, and she means to me one of the greatest symbols of femininity and feminine power that uh, exists. And then I also have 
the male um, images over here. And when I was gluing down this skeleton hand, I remembered back to the story of the skeleton woman in the book, Women Who Run With the Wolves. And if you haven't uh, read this or heard of this book, it is one of the most powerful books about uh, the feminine archetype. Um, and in particular, the wild woman archetype. And there are stories in this book from all over the world. But I immediately went to my cozy room where I keep this book beside my chair. And I reread the story of the skeleton woman. And the skeleton woman um, is a wise, very, very wise woman. and she is a symbol of the life death life um, pattern that is throughout all life and it is a closing and opening of doors of chapters in your life and as women for a number of years we go through that cycle every month where we, you know, our, our uterus fills with blood and then there is, if there is no fertilization, then the blood drains and that's kind of a death of that cycle. And then we are renewed again to only repeat the cycle for many, many years. And it is a, um, a sacred cycle. It's a sacred cycle considered to be so in many, many cultures. So the skeleton woman is our, is our wisdom, is our connection to one another. And indeed, in successful marriages, She's a very, very strong force, if accepted by the male in the relationship. So, I'm going to see if I can find the perfect letters in my ransom note alphabet to include in this collage. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I will video the rest of this and it will probably be on my website so you can see how I complete uh, this collage. But for now, um, I, hope, I hope as you watched me put these pieces together, you saw that I made some mistakes, you know, I glued things out of order, and I have to say this Uhu uh, uh, glue stick is really, really great for being able to move things, being able to pick up pieces of the collage, because it takes a long time for it to actually dry so that it is secure. And um, so I would recommend the Yuhu glue stick. Oh, and also on my website, um, I do have a page of my favorite art supplies that I work with. And there is a link to Amazon. And I know you've heard everybody say that if you do buy um, a supply through my website or through their website, what you pay, you pay the price that's stated in Amazon, but I get a very small percentage of the um, of the purchase price. So every little bit helps. And um, you know, take a look at my favorite supplies. I get questions a lot of times about, oh, what what do you think is the best best glues? What do you think is the best paste? And so on and so forth. So. 
I just love this. I love it. And I love that I found this, this purple skeleton hand. I'm very grateful for the guidance that I received in putting this together. And, uh, and I, I, I do intend to finish it. So, and look what happened over here. You know, these were the extra pieces that I had. And I think I'm just gonna put these together on this page and I can journal around it. But I just love the colors and the images. And um, I mean, there's a whole story here. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to tell our story. And I hope you enjoyed this one. So I'm so good, so good to be back with you all. And I wish you many, many blessings. And I will see you again next week or over on my website. And uh, I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.